That's right, Tiffany. What happened here earlier on Purdue's campus has many Purdue students and employees wondering what exactly is going on. Police say they have just as many questions. What Purdue police tell me is at 4.30 today, here at the Wood Street Garage, which is right behind me on the sixth floor, they found a four-door maroon car with Florida license plates. In the back seat was the body of a man. In the front was a suspicious package. Police say they had to investigate that suspicious package and make sure there was no danger to first responders before they could get any answers on the death. Students and staff stood waiting to get their cars after police closed the Wood Street garage. One student got lucky and was able to get his car out before officers shut it down to traffic. And they were surrounding a small red four-door um, which was parked on the southeast corner with all of its doors open. The bomb robot examined a backpack found in the front passenger seat. Police say how it was configured and the contents of the bag made it suspicious. We're taking all the appropriate precautions. A student who doesn't want to be identified but who saw the scene from his office in the graduate building across the street said the robot pulled out books and papers from the backpack. Purdue Police Chief John Cox tells me how they found the man's body in the car was around noon. The Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office received a report of a missing person. Officers used cell phone technology and that's how they located the man who was dead in the back of the car. Purdue Police do believe that man is somehow affiliated with Purdue University. They don't know at this time if he is a student or an employee. I did speak though with one student who had his car parked on the sixth floor and he says that floor is C permit parking and C permits are mainly issued to students. Police are calling this a suspicious death at this point. The autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow.